How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. This is Wake Run Collapse. And today, I've got box number four of Japanese Forbidden Light. And we're going to have to shuffle the packs pursuant to a previous video of mine. So as to leave you in suspense as to what's going to happen, because otherwise I would just skip all those packs and open this one. So let's shuffle them up. We can't really tell what position it's going to be in. And then I'll do this. So we now have no idea what position it's going to be in. It could be in either side of the box. I don't even know if I have the same number of packs. I don't think I do. I think this one might have one fewer pack. Let me see. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh no, I nailed it! Hey! Secret talent. But unfortunately, every box is going to need an extra minute of prep work now so that the experience can be pure for everyone. I kind of like it better this way, too. A little secret. Uh, I've got Noivern, a Furfru, Skiddo, Hone Edge, and Pokemon Catcher. Uh, you can, as a result, get really weird stretches of pulls now. I could go five or six packs without a hollow, five or six packs with all hollows. Uh, it's entirely up to the randomization of the cards, so. Actually, I hope you like it better this way. We can go on hot streaks. It could be fun. Uh, Choice Band, Go-Goat, Froakie, Eevee, and Diantha is going to be our hollow. So we've got Malamar, a Flabebe, Brakeson, Heliolisk, and Klotzer. And then there's Barbarical, Skrulp, a, another Brakeson, <laughs> Flabebe, and a Pyroar Hollow. Uh, so this is a pressing question, uh, and I'm sure it's a pressing question for a lot of the folks uh, who have emails that they've sent to me. Uh, in the past several weeks looking to buy cards, and they have not received responses from me. Uh, I'm not jumping you in line. I'm not pushing you off so that another person can get their pick of what they want to purchase. I simply don't have the time to do it right now. I'm doing my best to do that, uh, but in order to keep the channel going, I have to upload videos. So that's why I'm uploading all week for Forbidden Light. It's got to be done before the next set. They're releasing them every like four or five weeks now, which is crazy. And it's very, very difficult to keep up. Let's get a Feromosa Hollow. Uh, it's just, um, it's, it's hard to explain. It's not one thing. Uh, work has been insane, and I've had to focus tons of time and energy on getting that done. Uh, when you work in an environment uh, such as the one that I work in, uh, and you have big streaks of inclement weather, you have issues with staffing, and you will need to be there a lot of the time. Uh, also, being an engaged man, I need to make sure that we put ourselves in a good position to uh, solidify dates and start looking at venues and things like that. Uh, so there are extra conversations on that front as well. Uh, and also, another factor, and this might not be a popular factor, but it's true, as the added effect of being true, uh, is that when you push something off uh, in favor of something else for a couple of days, it becomes easier and easier to ignore it. So let's say, like, let's say you had a bill that you had to pay. Now you've got three weeks to do it and you receive it in the mail. I like paying it the very same day and just sending it out. Is that necessarily the thing that gets me the most money? No, not really, because I can save it. And I can, you know, pay it a little further down the line. But I would rather pay it and forget about it. 
But I tell you what, if I don't pay it that first day and I leave it in the pile, it can be in the pile for a day, three days, a week, or until the last day and then I have to pay it online because I left it off. Because I convinced myself it's not that important to pay this off now. It's a Greninja GX. By leaving it alone once, it becomes easier to leave it alone every subsequent time. Uh, this doesn't just happen with obligations. Uh, if you're playing a video game and you've been playing it every day for a couple of weeks and then you miss a couple days, you know how easy it is to not, like, to just never go back to it, to never revisit it? Like, not only not revisiting it, but, ooh, Ultra Necrozma, uh, not only not revisiting it, but just not playing it from the beginning again either because you're like oh well i i played the beginning not too long ago this isn't a new experience for me but it's hard to get back into the flow of where you were too happens with video games happens with tv shows happens with life happens with bonnie full arts what is the deal these duplicated full arts anyways i have this already i'll be selling it next week probably keep an eye out for it but on the plus side, it wasn't in the same position as all the others. So it was undoubtedly a surprise. Also, it's tough to keep my passion up. There's that too. If it were the thing that I was most passionate about, if it overrode all other feelings that I had uh, regarding, you know, everything else that I have going on, uh, then that would be different. But the whole grinding out openings, grinding out sale videos, uh, constantly communicating through email with everybody, and, you know, people get frustrated with me too because I can't give them the amount of time that they need. And yeah, I do apologize for it, but... It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be better in the future. Which again is another reason why this channel is going to eventually come to an end. I still haven't picked out exactly where. Maybe Sun and Moon 7. Maybe. I started on Black and White 7. It'd be cool to end on Sun and Moon 7. Uh, but I have such unfinished business with the channel too. And also, I've yet to get a hollow in this side of the box. That's such unfinished business with the channel. I have Booster Pack Frenzy episodes. I've got box openings. I've got a cool box to open. That's going to be nice. Um, I want to show off a lot more of the collection. But most importantly, I want to finish the collection. And that is something that we will address in a future video. Two... Three, four, five, six, seven packs in a row, no hollows. Interesting. So we got Mystery Treasure, Pancham, uh, Scatterbug, Klefki, and Pangoro. That's eight packs in a row. I know we were special card heavy on the left side of the box, but this is pretty crazy. We're not really going to go nine packs in a row, are we? Uh, how? Edge, Gumi, Halucha, ooh, Volcanion Prism. This is a great look for this card. Very nice. I like the deep red coupled with the blue. Uh, so anyways, its ability is Jet Geyser. Uh, Jet Geyser, once per turn, you can discard a water energy, uh, and this forces your opponent to switch out their active Pokemon. So if you just chuck off an energy, then they have to switch, which can be disruptive and helpful to you at the same time. Uh, then you've got Sauna Bomb, which does 100 plus 20 to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So you can actually come in handy together, if you think about it. Uh, if the active Pokemon is about to die, uh, you can force it to switch out. If the 20 bench damage is going to kill it, you can force it to switch out with the ability, then launch the attack and get that extra 80 damage on their new active Pokemon. That other one's going to die anyways. I have no idea if that's actually playable, but it's cool. And there's a Guzzlord Hollow, too. I think we're going to be on fire now. 
But anyways, with all that, you know, done and out of the way, it's way better than making a, a single standalone video uh, talking about where I've been, why I don't upload. It's not because I hate you guys. I don't. I love you. But other things take priority. And it's tough to find your way back uh, once you've been gone for a little while. But I got sick of looking at this box just staying there sealed for two weeks. Sitting in my house. Thinking about how, like, really soon we're going to have another set to deal with. And there's a lichen rock. And that's why we're back. Got Alolan Marowak, Scatterbug, the Dene, uh, Dublade, and Del Fox. Like I said, really, really hot streak. And in the last pack, the final pack of box four, our new opening method. We have uh, fossil excavation map, Go Goat, Inkay, unidentified fossil, and a Lysander prism. You get two prisms in a box? Okay. This I'm fine with. So you can get an additional prism if you don't get a fourth GX. Is that how it is? Let's do a quick look and find out. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I got... Three GXs and two Prisms plus a Full Art. Interesting combo. Uh, anyways, Hollows for Box 4. Delphox, Lycanroc, uh, Gudra, Guzzlord, Tyrantrum, Feromosa, uh, the Alolan Exeggutor, Pyroar, and Diantha. We got the Prism cards, both of them. Volcanion is the new card, and Lysander. Then we've got Ultra Necrozma GX, Greninja GX, Evil Tall GX, and duplicated Bonnie Full Art. So, thanks so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video. Make sure you hit that like button if you did. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for box number five of Forbidden Light.